Hello, here is a slice of lung and when I rotate you can see that this is the pleural surface and I'm just going to rotate it back. It's got a very abnormal cut surface and this shows multiple dilated airways, so more uh, central, closer to the hilar region, these are dilated bronchi. And then as we move more peripherally, some of these will be bronchioles. And you can see that they go all the way to the pleural surface, which is very abnormal for bronchiolar spaces. Normally, we don't see them extending beyond about 2 to 3 cm from the pleural surface. So this condition is bronchiectasis. Actually, in the fresh lung, we would have seen a lot of parulent exudates that are lining these dilated air spaces. But because this specimen has been processed, most of the parulent material has dropped out. So bronchiectasis is actually the damage or destruction of the walls of the bronchi and bronchioles, leading to permanent dilatation. Usually, this destructive process uh, is due to infection, necrotizing infection, and often there is an obstructive element. So if you think about the etiologic factors, um, conditions such as cystic fibrosis, congenital condition, in which there's a lot of inspissated secretions within the airways, these cause obstruction and then predispose them to infection. There can also be localized causes, such as tumors or foreign bodies, that obstruct the airways. And these, again, in turn predispose the airways to necrotizing bacterial infections. Um, and these will then damage the walls of the airways and cause permanent dilatation. So usually the patients will complain of a cough which is productive. There will be full smelling parulent sputum and sometimes also hemoptysis. Here is another example of a different case and it's dissected differently this time. It, it has actually been opened along the airways and you can see that these airways are dilated and abnormal and the smaller airways actually extend to very close to the pleural surface. So we can see some whitish areas that are around the walls of the airways and some of this is due to inflammation as well as fibrosis uh, in the later stages of the condition. So on histology, usually um, at the very florid, early, acute, active inflammatory phase, there will be suppurative inflammation in the walls of the airways. Sometimes there can even be abscess formation and this is associated with necrosis and destruction of the airway walls. And then subsequently later on, we would see a peribronchial, peribronchiolar fibrosis. So in summary, this is a case of bronchiectasis, and bronchiectasis is characterized by permanent dilatation of the bronchi and bronchioles caused by destruction of the walls, meaning this muscle and the elastic tissue in the walls. And usually this is secondary to infection as well as obstruction.